We all know theists place God in the dark recesses of human knowledge. If there is mystery, a gap, in what we know about the universe, the theist will tell us that is where we can find evidence of God. For example, there was a time when no one understood the marvelous intricacies of the celestial orbits in our solar system. Even a man as brilliant as Isaac Newton was baffled by this mystery. He had worked out two body orbital systems, the motion of the Earth and Moon, for example, or the Earth and the Sun. But the larger system as a whole was beyond his two-body calculations. Newton just couldn't unravel the choreography behind the marvelous celestial dance, and so concluded this most beautiful system of the sun, planets, and comets could only proceed from the counsel and dominion of an intelligent and powerful being. And if the fixed stars are the center of other like systems, these being formed by the likewise counsel must be all subject to the dominion of one. This being governs all things, not as the soul of the world, but as Lord over all. In Newton's dark cavity of ignorance of how the solar system worked as a whole, he stuck God. He didn't need God to figure out the laws of motion or gravity, but where his knowledge failed him, God was discovered. And yet, we are told in the Bible that God is omnipresent. As the psalmist wrote, Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me, and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. So. If God is omnipresent, as the Bible tells us he is, we should be finding God in the things we know, not continually retreating him into the things we don't know.